Princess Yachts have established the reputation of one of a handful of excellent production yacht manufacturers. And for many, the Princess 88 showcases the best of the best for this brand. When I heard that my colleague Ed Dickinson had listed one for sale, I sent a team to film her and I spent a moment with Ed to ask him, who are Princess Yachts? What is the layout of this yacht? What makes her stand out from other yachts in this size range? What should you do if you are a qualified buyer? Starting with a few details about Princess Yachts. Princess Yachts are a British shipyard. They are a production facility. They have a history going back to 1965 and they're world renowned for being one of the best quality shipyards in the United Kingdom. They build a number of series of vessels. They usually run the line for a number of years and the advantage of a vessel such as Cape Cod is she is one of the very last of the Princess 88s delivered. There's multiple benefits of buying a production yacht such as Cape Cod. You have the benefit of knowing there's guaranteed resale. You can clearly see where the valuation of the vessel was going to be in five years, in 10 years, and it's well looked after. You also benefit from having crew who have worked on sister boats, on maybe a slightly smaller version of the boat, who can bring their knowledge of the shipyard and of the vessel into your new boat. You also know for a fact that Princess have got a very large expertise in this market sector. They're consistently developing their models, developing their range to ensure that each year they build better and better vessels. Cape Cod, for a vessel of her size, is extremely spacious. When you compare the beam of Cape Cod to some of the competitors in the market, you really feel there's additional interior volume. When you enter Cape Cod, you enter on the main deck aft. On the main deck aft, you have a very nice exterior dining table with removable chairs forward. You also benefit from a wet bar. So stewardesses can be on hand if you just want to be served drinks. You then enter through into the main salon. The main salon is gonna be your primary interior guest area on board. On the aft area, you have a large seating area with a television on the starboard side. And forward of that, you have a large dining room. And one of the unique features for the 88 is a very large sliding door, which gives you an alfresco feeling. So if you have a cold evening and you want to eat inside, you can still have the feeling of being close to the sea. To port, you have the galley. Now the galley can either be fully closed off or you can have it open. And if you have the galley open, you can see right from the aft deck all the way through forward to the bridge of the vessel. When it's closed off, it also allows the crew separate access through to the bridge and the galley if guests want privacy in the main salon. Further forward at the dining area and the main salon, you'll find a day ahead, which is excellent if you do not want guests to go down to the lower guest cabins if you have people on just for the day. And forward of this, you find the bridge. The whole of the main deck is connected, so you can walk right round from the dining room up past the day ahead into the bridge and back upon yourself into the galley, should you wish. Another excellent feature of the vessel, you can lead from the main deck half down to a swim platform or the main exterior space for guests to enjoy is the flybridge. Some bathing areas on the half. A large dining area centre with an additional bar. Helm controls for the captain to be able to drive underway. If you go down back onto the main deck forward of the bridge, there's an additional sunbathing and seating area on the fore deck should you be in port and you want a bit of privacy from everybody on the dock. Cape Cod's in guest accommodation space is found on the lower deck. 
Centerpiece of all of this has to be the master cabin. It's a full beam area, midship, the most stable area of the vessel. She's got extremely large windows, which bring a lot of natural light in, especially at anchor. There is also a full beam ensuite, which runs behind the guest accommodation. And this means that you have extra soundproofing between where the bed is and the engine room. Up forward, you have a VIP, which is equally impressive. It's also VIP, slightly smaller, but it has its own ensuite facility and a walk-in wardrobe. You have a further double cabin and a twin cabin. All of the AV systems have been updated in these cabins in 2020 as part of a refit. The crew area can actually be accessed through two different ways. On the starboard side, you have access down, should you be underway and you need to access. However, there's also access from the swim platform directly through into the crew area. The crew area is very large for a vessel of this size. You have a setup where you have a bench seating to comfortably seat four crew. They have their own small galley area. The captain has a double cabin and there's space for two more crew in a separate bunk cabin. The crew area also leads directly through to the engine room. The engine room on Cape Cod is one of the best kept engine rooms I've seen on any production vessel. Cape Cod is fitted with two MTU 2000 series engines. They have just over a thousand running hours and at full speed, she can reach 26 knots with no problem. The current owners comfortably use the vessel, however, at a much lower cruising speed of 12 knots, and this can give her almost 2,000 nautical miles range, which allows you to get across the med without any issues. Should you want to have a comfortable fast cruising speed at 18 knots, Cape Cod will be on the plane, and you'll be able to just knock back slightly on the throttles, you'll have all the turbos engaged, and this will be the optimal cruising speed for the vessel. I did say at the beginning though that Ed is well informed about features of this particular model that really make her stand out from the crowd. So what are those features and what should you do if you're a qualified buyer for this yacht? Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions about Cape Cod, just leave them in the comments section below and Ed will answer them in a follow-up video in the coming weeks. One thing to note, when Princess developed the 88 model, they actually had just finished developing the 40 meter and they took a lot of the technology from their flagship 40 meter in the hull design and incorporated it into the 88. Cape Cod was one of the last 88s delivered by the shipyard and she can be seen effectively as a, a swan song to the 88. She has an all grip paint rather than just gel coat. She has zero speed fin stabilizers, which are extremely effective. But all the way through her galley, her AV has been maintained, specified to the highest standard from the outset. One thing to note is that she's only had private ownership since delivery, that she's fully EU VAT paid and her current owners have run her with an exceptional crew. We're confident that any potential buyer out there will survey the vessel and see that she presents like new, if not better. If you're interested in Cape Cod, please give us a call. The vessel's located in Cyprus. She does have a full-time crew available to prepare the vessel at short notice. We would suggest coming to have a look at her to compare her to any competitors on the market. She honestly stands out from any other 88 I've ever been on. If we can find a price agreement, the owner is a sensible seller. We'll assist on forming a contract, organizing survey CTRA, and seeing through to handover. As a final comment, I would like to reiterate the point that Cape Cod is a true pocket super yacht. <laughs>